Hey everybody, welcome back to the workbench where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to take a look at a float switch. And a float switch is something that goes on a drain pan and its primary function is to shut the system down, whichever system it is, air conditioner, furnace, what have you. Uh, in the event the drain pan starts to overflow with water, it's wired into the control scheme to shut the system down. And I have a little lab set up here that we're going to put it to the test, but we're going to look at it. It's a normally closed switch. And we're going to turn our meter on here to continuity. And it's got a little float inside that pops up and down with water. So I have here today a little lab exercise that we're going to do. I have a contactor and I've got our little light over here that's going to serve as our air conditioner, heat pump, whatever. And we're going to wire up, and I'll show you the schematic right there for what it is I'm wiring up. We're going to put this in series. This switch that I'm wiring here is going to be our thermostat. And this float switch will be in series with our contactor, which turns on our heat pump or air conditioner there. And I'm going to bring in a drain pan. We're going to set up our little float switch here. And when I energize the system, the little light will turn on, simulating our air conditioner turning on. So I have line voltage passing through the contactor to our air conditioner. I've got low voltage here passing through what would be our thermostat, through the float switch, and to the coil of the contactor. When I energize this, we'll see the light turn on, simulating that the air conditioner is turned on. And then I'm going to proceed to fill up our little drain pan here with some water and watch how it shuts off. So I put some gloves on here. We're going to pop this on. And then we're going to turn on our thermostat. And we can see our air conditioner is energized. And I'm going to take some water and slowly start to fill up our drain pan with water. And as our drain pan is filling up, the float inside the switch is rising and our air conditioner heat pump has been shut off. There's a lot of different styles of these switches. This is just this particular model that I happen to have. So <clears throat> again, line voltage through the contactor to our heat pump air conditioner, low voltage through the switch in series float switch coil of the contactor. I hope you enjoyed this little lab exercise. This has been the workbench. Thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next one.